Hi friends, what's up? This is RK from 360 Dealer. It's time to talk about the best tips and tricks to fix FaceTime handoff not working between iPhone, iPad and Mac issue. FaceTime handoff is an all new continuity feature that has arrived with iOS 16 and macOS 13 Ventura. What makes it so handy is the ability to let you seamlessly transfer your FaceTime calls between iPhone, iPad and Mac. While this feature is pretty well thought out, some users have complained that it is not working on their devices. If you have also faced the same problem, there is no need to panic. Check out these best tips and tricks to fix FaceTime handoff not working issue the right way. Before getting started, make sure you have subscribed our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you won't miss any update from 360 Reader. First and foremost, I would recommend you to disable enable Wi-Fi and Bluetooth on your iPhone, iPad and Mac. Wi-Fi and Bluetooth are a must for the FaceTime handoff to work, so make sure they are enabled on your devices. If the issue occurs, even when they are enabled, turn them off and on. On your Mac, click on the Wi-Fi menu and then turn off on the Wi-Fi toggle. After that, click on the Bluetooth menu and then turn it off on. And on your iPhone and iPad, go to the Settings app, then select Wi-Fi and Bluetooth settings and then turn them off and on. After that, I will recommend you to disable enable handoff on your iPhone, iPad and Mac. If you still can't switch FaceTime calls between your devices, try turning off on handoff both on your iPhone and Mac. For those unaware, handoff is designed to let you start something on one of your Apple devices and then pick it up seamlessly on another device. On your iPhone and iPad, head over to the settings app and then tap on general. After that, tap on airplay and handoff and then turn off on the toggle for handoff. And on your Mac, navigate to the settings app and then click general. After that, click on airdrop and handoff and then turn off on the toggle for allow handoff between this Mac and your iCloud devices. Next up, I would recommend you to restart your iPhone, iPad and Mac. If you haven't been able to fix the issue, I would recommend you to restart your device because it has got the knack of fixing common issues. On your Mac, click on the Apple menu at the top left corner of the screen and then choose Restart to reboot your device. And on your iPhone, iPad, without the home button, you have to press and hold the volume up, down button and the power button at once. Then drag the power off slider to shut down your device. After that, press and hold the power button again to restart your iPhone. And on your iPhone and iPad, with the home button, you have to press and hold the power button or the top button and then you have to drag the power off slider to shut down your device. Then you have to press the power button to reboot your device. Next up, I would recommend you to turn off on FaceTime on your iPhone, iPad and Mac. Many a time you can get rid of a FaceTime related issue just by turning it off on. Hence, it's worth giving a try. On your Mac, open FaceTime and then click on the FaceTime menu at the upper left corner of the screen. Then select Settings. Now uncheck the boxes to the left of Enable this account and Calls from iPhone and iPad. Now restart your Mac. When your Mac has rebooted, return to the FaceTime settings and then check these boxes. On your iPhone and iPad, head into the settings app and then tap on FaceTime. Now turn off the toggle for it. After that, restart your iPhone. Once your iPhone has restarted, turn on FaceTime once again. After that, I would recommend you to reset network settings. If your iPhone is going through a network related issue, it will prevent the FaceTime handoff from working smoothly. In this situation, resetting the network settings could come in super handy. To get it, and open the settings app on your iPhone and then tap on General. After that, you have to scroll down to the bottom and tap on Transfer or Reset iPhone or iPad, then tap on Reset. After that, tap on Reset Network Settings and then Confirm 
the action. Next up, I would recommend you to sign out and sign back in using your Apple ID. On quite a few occasions, I have resolved a problem related to continuity by just signing out of Apple ID and then signing back in. Hence, I'm going to count on it to sort out this issue as well. On your iPhone and iPad, click on the settings app and then tap on your profile. After that, tap on sign out. Then make sure to keep a copy of all the important data like calendar and contacts before signing out. After that, wait for some time and then sign back in using your Apple ID and password. On your Mac, open the system settings app and then click on your profile. After that, click on sign out. Finally, I would recommend you to update the software on your devices. If you haven't been able to transfer FaceTime calls between your iDevices, chances are pretty high that a software bug could be at the heart of the problem. In this situation, updating the software is the best way to go. On your iPhone and iPad, open the settings app and then tap on general. After that, tap on software update and finally download and install the latest iteration of iOS or iPadOS on your device. And on your Mac, open the system settings app, then tap on general. After that, tap on software update and finally download and install the latest iteration of macOS as usual. That's all there is to it. So these are the best tips and tricks to fix FaceTime handoff not working between iPhone, iPad and Mac. Hopefully you have finally gotten the better of the problem. Now that you have sorted out the issue, let me know the hack that has done the trick for you. And if you know any other hack that works in fixing this annoying issue, make sure to let me know that via the comment section below. And I'll see you in the next video with more such handy tips and tricks. Till then, stay safe and have a great time. Bye-bye.